Do you feel like you don't speak enough Italian? That you need to know more words? Then stick around. With these lessons, you'll pick up some of the most common words in just a few minutes. Now, this video is a small portion of our learning program. To get the full lessons, translations, and fluency fast study tools, click the link in the description and sign up for your free lifetime account. Hi everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to Conversational Phrases. In this lesson, you'll learn conversational phrases to use when apologizing to someone. After watching this video, you'll be able to apologize and say what you're apologizing for. Now let's take a look at some conversational phrases. Listen to the dialogue. Scusa per il ritardo. Non ti preoccupare. Once more with the English translation. Scusa per il ritardo. I'm sorry for being late. Non ti preoccupare. Don't worry about it. First of all, you'll need to learn how to say, I'm sorry for reason. The pattern is, Scusa per reason. This Italian sentence literally translates as, Sorry for reason. But it means, I'm sorry for reason. For example, I'm sorry for being late. Scusa per il ritardo. Scusa per il ritardo. Now, how do you respond that it's okay? Non ti preoccupare. Listen to it again. Non ti preoccupare. Non ti preoccupare. This Italian sentence literally translates as Don't you worry. But it means Don't worry about it. Here are a few more phrases you can use with the same pattern to apologize. Being late. Il ritardo. Il ritardo. Being late. Il ritardo. Lying to you. Averti mentito. Averti mentito. Lying to you. Averti mentito. Hurting your feelings. Aver ferito i tuoi sentimenti. Aver ferito i tuoi sentimenti. Hurting your feelings. Aver ferito i tuoi sentimenti. Canceling. La disdetta. La disdetta. Canceling. La disdetta. Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. Scusa per averti mentito. Non ti preoccupare. I'm sorry for lying to you. Scusa per averti mentito. Don't worry about it. Non ti preoccupare. Scusa per aver ferito i tuoi sentimenti. Non ti preoccupare. I'm sorry for hurting your feelings. Scusa per aver ferito i tuoi sentimenti. Don't worry about it. Non ti preoccupare. Scusa per la disdetta. Non ti preoccupare. I'm sorry for canceling. Scusa per la disdetta. Don't worry about it. Non ti preoccupare. Now it's your turn. Do you remember how to say, I'm sorry for reason? Scusa per reason. And how do you respond to it? Non ti preoccupare. 
Imagine you want to apologize because you told a lie to someone. Do you remember how to say lying to you? Averti mentito. Averti mentito. Say, I'm sorry for lying to you. Scusa per averti mentito. Now say you're sorry for lying and respond to it. Scusa per averti mentito. Non ti preoccupare. Now imagine you want to apologize because you hurt someone's feelings. Do you remember how to say hurting your feelings? Aver ferito i tuoi sentimenti. Aver ferito i tuoi sentimenti. Say, I'm sorry for hurting your feelings. Scusa per aver ferito i tuoi sentimenti. Now say, you're sorry for hurting someone's feelings and respond to it. Scusa per aver ferito i tuoi sentimenti. Non ti preoccupare. Now, imagine you want to apologize because you canceled. Do you remember how to say canceling? La disdetta. La disdetta. Say, I'm sorry for canceling. Scusa per la disdetta. Now, say you're sorry for canceling and respond to it. Scusa per la disdetta. Non ti preoccupare. In this lesson, you learned new vocabulary and phrases you can use in your everyday life to apologize to someone. You are now able to apologize and forgive someone like a native speaker. Start by practicing in the comments below. Tell your fellow learners why you'd apologize. Lastly, don't forget to click the link in the description and download your PDF cheat sheets. You'll get useful phrases you need for everyday life for free. See you in the next lesson. Bye! Remember, here's what you can do to learn all of these words by heart. Drill these words with our spaced repetition flashcards, which will help cement these words into your long-term memory. Save them to the Word Bank, your personal vocabulary collection where you can print out your own study sheets, or review the words with our looped vocabulary slideshow and play it until you know all of the words. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to get these lessons and study tools.